Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange True Colours. So, last time we were looking through this laptop to try and find out information on what Typhon had to do with Gabe's death. Uh, the checkpoints put me back a little bit, so we might have to do a few things again with the laptop, but that's not too bad. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41pm. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Okay, so... We need to listen to this one. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Whoops. That's not how I get backwards. There we go. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. That this one. is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. So where was the second blast? That is a good question. Oh, we got a file browser now. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Well, luckily, we have a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. Well, that's... Kind of scary. I was so close to the end, I would have ended the chapter at the end of last episode had I known that's where it was ending. Oh, well. oh that, was, that was a really close split between leaving um, Charlotte and not. What else is there? I always like to look at these. Alex made Diane sad. I think sad's better than angry. She should be sad, in my opinion. She did a very bad thing. Didn't play a record. No, I didn't play a record. I didn't know I could. Didn't weed the rooftop garden? I didn't know I could weed the rooftop garden. Oh, there's so many things I need to go back and do on a different playthrough. Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. I mean... Yeah. I think that would have been actually quite difficult to get knocked out, but anyway. 
the troll took Alex bribe. Yeah, we we bribed them. Yeah. It seemed like the easiest way to do. And the serpent was put to sleep. Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to. Steph stormed out of the apartment. Why would that be an option? A hundred percent of people vanquished King Table Table. Riley found out about Eleanor's dementia. See, I kind of, I was going to say I made a mistake in that one. I didn't expect it to do what it did. I was trying to be nice to her at one point and then by not telling her about Gabe's death again, but that's what led to um, Riley finding out. Alex helped the student focus on her work. I did. I found the song. Alex and Ethan solved the jester's riddle. That wasn't actually that bad. Once I found that bit of paper, it was quite easy. Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work. We sure did. Right, next chapter it is then. Flicker. Chapter 4, Flicker. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. How's that even a conversation? We're definitely giving a rose to Steph. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. One day I'll organize this stuff in here. Today is not that day. Why not? Why can I still open it? What's in here that I need to have a look at? Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places subreddit. Okay. Are we getting towards Christmas? They said it was spring. Why is there an ornament in here? Why are we looking at all these things? Yeah, this one ornament will really bring my tree together. What tree? It's spring. They just said so. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, but where did you put it? I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after-festival snack. Oh, fair enough. Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. That looks a lot like a Cyberman. I'm just saying. From Doctor Who, for anyone who isn't aware. Um, but yeah, that looks an awful lot like a Cyberman. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. There's a pressed rose on the wall. Is this from another year's festival that Gabe got given? Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. Oh, that's sweet. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Uh -huh. 
Plumbing's never something I've wanted to mess with. I'm always too worried that I would do something. I'd like to be able to fix it myself, but I'm always worried I'll do something and end up flooding somewhere. I'm about ready to start my own list. Oh, this is the one we already looked at, wasn't it? I've got a lot riding on you. Small, inanimate object. Okay, time to head downstairs. Time to read that text message from Eleanor first. Are you joining us this evening? Yes, this one party I'm willing to brave. Ha, well it makes it... We'll make it as painless as possible. Well, that's nice. I've got lots of messages. Ryan, but Stephanie, what? I don't know what they're talking about. Right, moving on. I really should read all them, but there's just so much of it. The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Um, what does this say? Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better, and we have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores. S'mores, but with ice cream on top. Secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I really have. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. Banshees? Thanks, Alex. Ethan. Oh, that's nice. I won't get distracted by uh, playing the arcade cabinets again. All when the bard will ride again. Let's hope so. I should have gone upstairs. I just learned that there was stuff to do upstairs at the end of the last chapter. I didn't go up there this time. So I've almost certainly missed something again. Oh well. Test, test. Check. 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 Holy shit! You own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Uh, need help setting up? We want to be helpful. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Time indeed. That's uh Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Well, let's grab one first. I'm glad I'm not just going to walk around with that in my hand. That would have been a little awkward. 232. 233. 234. No. The red one was 234. This game is so Wait. demoralizing. Damn it. Why do I do this to myself? <sighs> Maybe I can help one, him somehow. Two. Why don't three. we win and get the prize? Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jellybean Lady. That's not right. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? <laughs> you can go right after this 
determined young man. So how am I supposed to... Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little dub. This is impossible, right? I'm sure it is. But he said maybe I can help him. How can I help them? Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Oh, I don't know. Um... 300. 300... ish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 300? What a nitwit. <laughs> Not even close. I was that far off? <sighs> Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? Let's go with 700. I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Come on then. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's mine. Come on then. Let me... Let me there we go. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. I wouldn't have helped him had you not been so mean and so, like, I want that gift card for myself. So, you deserve it, really. I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. I was trying to read this person. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Well, I think that, uh, that went well. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. You'd hope the person stood by it is keeping an eye out, though. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it clear as day. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk. Boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Springfest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. Excuse me. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk. I can't believe just tapping into and them. I'm not advocating for that kind reset of drinking, that. mind you. Despite my occupation, it's Spring Fest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, bowled over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack! Belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land, and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine, though. So then... I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none, but everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! 
God knows why he thought that was the right token of gratitude. Well, that's better than nothing. But, in all fairness, I ate the whole damn box. Best I ever had. Well, there you go. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. I'm somewhat concerned that Hype is going to be on Typhon's Perhaps payroll. I was going to say this earlier, but I, uh, I forgot. <laughs> um, Super tidy. So, yeah, I'm somewhat well, concerned about that. Anything good lately? Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? What does this say? The Black, the black Beast of... He or these traveling circus. Or these traveling circus and its crown jewel, the Black Beast, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 40s before P. Audley ultimate P. Audley's untimely demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill-fated performance lingered in Haven's history for decades after, and whispered of the beast remaining even today. The crown jewel of Audley's travelling circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic colour variant of Panthera on Onca? Onsa? Probably butchered the pronunciation of all of that. Witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species, given its unusually large size and unnatural longevity. The Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27, 1944. That night, an incident during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and the adventurous at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainsides of Haven Springs. Presented by the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society, Right. This is awesome. Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Should we sit for a minute at the fire? I'm hoping this won't trigger something and stop me from doing something else. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. Again, I'm guessing this is another place where they would be playing music, but because I've got licensed music turned off, it's not doing it. Which is a real shame. I, I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't seen her around. Where is she? I should try and find her. How far away am I allowed to get? Like, can I go into town? Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love what you've done with your bar. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? Come on, young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. My goodness, what is this town coming to? Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. Must have been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking about last year. Okay, that's quite funny. God, I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh no. What happened to Riley? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Where's Riley? We want to know. Hey, so... 
Where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for... You know. Oh. I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too? Sure. I'll try my best. Uh, let's go. Lots of work, huh? The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. Yeah, are we drinking later? So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? I better get going. Well, that was an interesting conversation. Everything set. Meet me at the stage. I have things to do, though. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. You too. I better head back. Well, I don't want to. I want to see if I can help Riley. Where's Riley? that Mac? Hi Mac. Mac, why are you drinking that through your eyeball? That was weird. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So... What now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you. But... In the meantime... They're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Um... Okay, but be careful. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. We care about everyone. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. You too. Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Okay, so can I find Riley? If she's not in the festive mood, I'm assuming she's not here. And I'm walking incredibly slowly. So I don't imagine I'm allowed back in town if I'm walking okay, as slow. So there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside sets out to find her missing sister who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks go on along the way she picks up mercenaries the kind she never expected to be friends with elf criminal undead priest oh they find the sister the sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know. But what a dilemma. Fucking Shakespeare meets Tolkien. This is what I always should have been writing. Jesse, this is amazing. It sounds like your muse is finally back. Didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. That does sound like a kind of fun book. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. No alcohol beyond this point. Good luck with that, Sign. 
Yeah, I mean, who's gonna Looks stop you? Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. There are people around town. Maybe we will find Riley down here. Might just take no, me a while. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Typhon is not normal. It's just, I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. Yep, that's a good bit of advice. I told you we all had to sign NDAs, right? NDAs? It's a mining company. It's a bit unusual. Couldn't have said it better myself. Don't know who wrote that, but yeah, we agree. Well, we couldn't hack it we in the ice cream biz after all. Oh, but at least we gave it a shot. Mr. Sounds like they've reached the end of their rocky road. I'm the worst. No. Hey, hey, I take res responsibility. If we gotta shut down the shop, I want you to know that I... Seriously. No more of this, okay? Whatever. We'll leave them to their conversation. I hope they don't shut down the ice cream shop. I like ice cream. Am I going to be able to find Riley? Grand Riley opening tomorrow. Oh, hello. You bought the diner? Free soup and salad for Spring Festival attendees. Got to pull my shit together for this grand Just opening. These people won't be so yourself. gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. I'm full of good ideas. Right. I'm moving faster now. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. I remembered what the run button was. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think there's food left at the festival? Are you hungry? I thought you might be. I could be. But are you? Not really. But that's nice of you. Right. Cool. Well, this is awkward. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. What do I do? That's a rough place to be. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Wait, they're both into each other? Come on, people. You have to get involved. Let's get this let's get this going. Hey, um Cute couple. I just wanted to say you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Us being a couple? Yeah. I kind of like it. Holy shit. Uh, okay, so does this mean... Do you want to, um... Go out sometime? Yes. But just the two of us? Yes. An actual date. <laughs> Devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. Okay, great. Yay! Are they happy now? Yay! Holy shit! Is this really happening? I accept cash and checks. Oh my god. My heart's still pounding. Can confirm. Yay! Sorry. I'm glad I did that. That's good. 
Right, and on, on that happy note, before we go into the flower shop, maybe where Riley is? Okay, Ryan is waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. We're trying to find Riley, leave me alone. Um, yeah, so before we do that, we'll call this episode, and next time we will uh, see if we can find where Riley is. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button below, let me know what you thought in the comments, and join us next time for the next one.